Brown here with the Chatham Journal. I'm with Dr. Dan Barnes here at First Health Facility at Northwood Landing. And Doc, what is going on here? Why did you decide to plant this facility here at Northwood Landing? You know, really with all the growth that is going on you know, near Pittsburgh and Chatham Park, we just felt that this was really an ideal location uh, to be able to provide greater access for patient care. Okay, you also mentioned in the uh, ribbon cutting ceremony portion that you did have a facility at Solid City? Correct. Um, and so we took over, um, as Dr. Garlic retired, we, uh, we took over that practice and then recruited providers to there. And then that practice is now here. So we just moved it up the road a little bit um, into Pittsburgh itself. Uh, can you give us a little bit of info? You mentioned that there was a transition area, a transition period when you had to get ready to move into this facility. So what did that process involve? Uh, so really just a lot of planning just to know. I mean, we, we had to shut down the clinic for a period of time, but wanted to make that as brief as possible. You know, we still had patients had access to be able to call and get refills and those sorts of things. But um, we just really planned as well as possible to make sure that we could get in and be ready to go in as short a time as possible. Right. I'm going to swing us around. The reason I'm going to swing us around is because I want to take a look at the back. You had mentioned this during the ribbon cutting that you yes. have a lung cancer screening unit. Yes. Uh, can you give us a little bit of information about that? Because that's the first one that I've seen. Yeah. So the lung bus is a um, it's it's a mobile CT scanner and it uh, has its own generator, so it doesn't require any hookup uh, to be able to go to locations. And our, real, our goal is to increase the amount of lung cancer screening uh, that is offered throughout our service area. Uh, by can catching lung cancer at an earlier stage, it is often completely curable by surgery, as opposed to advanced stages where most treatment is really focused on slowing down the, the course of the disease. Uh, but with this, we, we want to be able to work with uh, employers that we have contracts with, uh, be able to go to communities that might be underserved that don't have access to lung cancer screening, uh, and really help raise awareness uh, about the benefits of getting lung cancer screening. And when did you roll out this bus? Uh, so we received it in uh, mid-late February. Uh, we've just kind of got our certifications and all the checks and balances on it. Uh, so we're now getting ready to uh, a schedule events to be able to go out into the community and, and really try to make it make an impact with it. So it sounds like from the advances that have made, been made in lung cancer treatment that this allows you to catch the, the problem early on and you're making it easy to get it out to the folks instead of having them necessarily come on in. Correct. Um, yeah, the again, especially stage one, but even stage two cancers uh, can be a complete cure with surgical intervention. Um, we have really uh, advanced diagnostic capabilities at First Health uh, with um, bronchoscopic navigation to be able to um, really uh, get to lesions that are small that otherwise we used to have to wait to kind of see if they were going to grow or not. Um, but this device, this CT scanner, really helps us identify patients before they have any symptoms that might have a, a small cancer. Uh, if I'm uh, if I'm considering using going in there, what what's the process involved in in going in through the CT scanner? Uh, so we'll have staff to be able to, to register the patient because we need to have a patient account so that uh, the images once they're done then can go into Epic our electronic medical record. Um, they're then read by a radiologist, and if there's any abnormalities, uh, then those patients would go right into our chest clinic that review uh, all nodules that are present on CT scans. And, All right. then, and with that, we, then we have a team of oncology providers, cardiothoracic surgeons, pulmonologists, medical oncology, radiation oncology, uh, that can meet and then discuss the best approach for any given patient. And you're, you're based out of Pinehurst, is that correct? Yes, sir. So you've got multiple facilities out there as well as the bus. That's correct. All right, last question. What are some of the things that put the biggest smile on your face working for First Health? Um, I really think our continued growth uh, over the course of the, the last really almost 20 years at this point, that's how long I've been with the organization, um, our, our consistent delivery of high quality that is really evidenced by some of the awards that we get, but I think it's providing more access to care, being able to help patients live healthier uh, and longer by providing the right access to care up front for them. All right, Dr. Barnes, thank you so very much. All right. Appreciate it. Yep.